after that, I was just like, oh, don't worry. I was just, I was just like, don't worry. And then, yeah. You started it at the end of what I was going to say. Nah, 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 we'll continue. Uh, uh, yeah, we're here. I'm going to just leave the camera on because we're, we're having like lovely conversations. <laughs> I think it's just best just to leave it. I'm, I'm sure I'll probably run out of battery soon. Mm. But, like, infinite waters. We're just, we're just like he praising infinite waters. He like, yeah. Ralph Smart. Big up Ralph Smart. Like, <laughs> seriously. Yeah. Like, he's, he changed my life, or at least he helped me to change my own. Know? he's not trying to change anyone he's trying to help himself by helping others that's it you know help inspiring others to make the change themselves to want to make the change themselves mm. right. and, yeah. you feel like you're talking to a mate when you're watching him he's yeah. like you don't have to respond it's just like you you know you really appreciate it's just like watching some random you, you, you feel like you know him don't you just feel like you get it yeah and it does yeah. help yeah no matter what kind of thing because he does lo he's lots of videos doesn't he yeah and you know I think that part of the reason is um, he, he gets himself so he gets others yeah the meditation because meditation is just knowing myself mm. and all of the different things that we react to you know and and really is that is that me, or is that just a reaction of my past self? Mm. It's displaying in my, and is it creating my suffering? Mm. Like you said about that relationship, like holding on to stuff. That's me holding yeah. on to a past version of what I thought was, but now in this moment. I think I think I was just clouded by so many thoughts and like not. To, I was trying to not well, was. I wasn't really even trying to let go, I was just trying to hold on. Mm -hmm. And I was clouded by all these things that I think was right and wrong and yeah. all this. And it, he sort of, I think right word is unclouded me as I watched it. And then like suddenly all the, all the things that was just stringing out, just like, don't give a fuck like that, you know, relax. It's, it's not going to be the end of your world. It's not going to be the worst, you know, and it's just like, at the end of it, you're just like, you forget about all those things and you're just like, well, I'm starting again. It's not that hard, yeah. yeah. It, w it seems so fucking hard to move on sometimes. And, and you just got to realise it doesn't. It's, just like it's not. It's like, it's like you are, like you said about the clouds, yeah. yeah. There's a saying, um, it's, it's heard a lot, it's said a lot about meditation, which is thoughts are like clouds mm, yeah, and yeah. they pass. But the thing is that <coughs> we're like a cloud that's just holding on <laughs> and just thundering and you know mm. and just never letting go and it, of, like, mm. it just wants to rain all the time it just wants to be there all the time and it never just gets space mm. like when you look up at the sky and you see the space of the blue you're like what? I think I think now just after so much it's just like I'm just starting to um, relax with myself like before when I was a bit younger I thought girls was the only thing I needed to be happy. Mm. That's all I ever thought about. It's like I need a girlfriend. And I have one. Wasn't really happy with it. Mm. You know, it's only come. It's one, only yeah. come from sort of five different, very different relationships that I've so suddenly realised it's like it's not your main priority. Mm. You are because when you because um. After that, I was I realised I was foc focusing so much on making the other person happy that I wasn't. Do you know? Yeah. I think if you yourself are like taking care of yourself, mm, then they don't need to be taken care of. Nah. Yeah, that's the focus where yeah where I yeah. focus my attention. If you're just f both focusing on yourself, then you can dwell on each other. Yeah. Positively. And yeah. And that is such a good point man like like in relationships why relationships get stale is because we start focusing on, on all the other person's negative things the things that we don't like about them but it's realizing that sentence the things that we don't like about them mm. so i'm focusing on them and it's all on them mm. but really it's what i don't like about them mm. so i'm not focusing on myself and what i'm doing to you know Mm. to actually realise oh no they're actually a lovely human being 
you know. And sometimes I just think I spent so much time worrying that I wasn't this, I wasn't that, they weren't that for me, that you just sort of forget about the, I know you forget about the true values of what it should be. I know, it's yeah. strange, man, you just, just got to stop, stop thinking, eh? Mm. Like, that's like, the more you think, the more you think about something, the worse it becomes. Yeah. Like, we're just not don't let anything phase you because, yeah. Like, like, and that's also what gets you unhappy as well. Right. You let everything fade you. Yeah. But sometimes, sometimes we we don't even know that we're thinking. We're so caught up in the whole tangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't. Even, we're not even aware of it. And so the first step is awareness. It's good to think, but it's knowing when to stop thinking about a certain thing. Well, are we are we human thinking or are we human doing or are we human beings? When I'm mm. being. All life comes to me. All life makes sense. Everything becomes exactly how it's meant to. Like it inside my attitude towards life's like <laughs> like there's like everything that any issue that's in my mind. And there are useful thoughts, you know, tools are thoughts are tools. So like I can say myself to the identity of spirituality of um, progression mm. and stuff like that so the thoughts they have are like always kind of directing me to be free of my thoughts basically because once I'm free of my thoughts because my thoughts are just kind of like a, they're kind of like um, split personality disorder oh, yeah, in, yeah. A, in a weird way like thoughts are like our way of trying to mm. deal with this whole mind fuck of a life <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but in reality am i dealing with it or am i just thinking about dealing with it you know yeah like dealing with it is the, all the your ac- actions mean more than thoughts you know yeah. you can think about doing something but yeah. it's not actually doing anything you're just you're making well. Uh, it's like it st- you're it making yourself yeah. feel better, but you'll feel so much better if you actually do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you want something and you're thinking about doing it, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm about to do this, but, but you, you don't, don't do it. Yeah, then you don't, and then Follow suddenly, the word, yeah, and you suddenly just at the end of it all, you're just like, I wish I did that, <laughs> and then yeah. you regret. And that's more thoughts. Yeah, mind. yeah. So and starting you're to trust yourself as well, isn't it? Because mm. once you trust yourself and, you know, when you feel that feeling... If you trust yourself, others will trust you. Yeah? Do you know what I mean by that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm just, like, I'm trying to remember it as you say it, you know? I'm trying to practice that. Mm. So just by looking into myself, keeping some part of my attention inside, then I'm always with myself I'm, I'm always getting to trust myself and my intuition and when I start to trust my intuition life changes like the experiences that come into my life start to be so fruitful when I start to appreciate what I've got and that's a good point as well you know what I mean when I'm appreciating what I've got but our minds are so twisted holding on to the past that we can never appreciate right now you know that we're either hiding, holding on to the past or seeking future. I I, really I do happy. believe though that um, you should never look to the future because I I've goals always goals you I've gotta have goals. I thought that as well. I thought, but and and my, when my dad said that, he was like, "You've gotta have goals." I was like, "Nah, nah." Like you gotta be present. That's what I felt. I I I do feel like being me keeping present is keeping me happy because I think because I've got so many people telling me like why don't why aren't you driving why aren't you saving up why aren't you thinking about moving out and it's like that will all come but the thing is it, I don't know it, it's like you I can get there yeah but it'll be a shit process because I'll just be worrying about it all yeah if I just let it happen then I'll get there but it will be like nice about it 
mm. and like all these all these rich people that are just all had like extreme goals like yeah I want to be that how many how many rich people do you see that are truly happy mm. Mm. yeah you know yeah. you don't do however because they've got everything they wanted and now that's it for sure yeah now that's it they they've got nothing else to do yeah and they're just they're they're just all lost now do you know yeah. that's why I think set goals at the time that that's like more that's like pretty realistic and it can happen <sighs> um so yeah. yeah I do like I it's more intentions so mm. for me it's like um setting my intentions for the day mm. it's like what am I trying to achieve today mm. and that is a goal in a sense but it's like not saying that this is the finished product it's saying it's an immediate goal who yeah who am I being yeah and that once again is coming back to the present <coughs> so my intention for doing these videos is mm. harmony that's it harmony and in every day I wake up now <coughs> it's just harmony <coughs> and that's it's a lifestyle like infinite waters would say it's a lifestyle mm. like it's creating a lifestyle rather than create uh, having a job you know or trying to get money like all these goals like you say it's like by having the intention of harmony then I gotta realize that firstly I've got to create harmony within mm. And then harmony just naturally comes outside because mm. everything's a reflection of what's going on inside. <coughs> oh yeah, I agree. <laughs> and like, I got, to, I definitely got to start um, meditating before I do videos because in the yeah, meditation, it your mind on more, it? yeah, you're just, that's what <coughs> in the water would do for sure. He do his yoga and his bed. I'm sure he does. You know I mean, because I think if you go in into something place. without opening yourself, you feel more closed about everything. Every people don't understand you. You know mm. what I mean? Because you don't understand yourself, you haven't opened up to yourself. People can't open up to you. Everything is the internal before we do external. Because because I can't control the external world. The external world does what it wants. Because but I can control what's going on. Because really. I've just realised you learn more from someone who's like. For example, let's put two things out. It's like a gaming YouTuber interview, like a QA, mm. or someone that's just meditated, they've opened up, they're now giving you information. You, yeah. you'll, you'll, watch, you'll watch a video of someone just chatting shit about a game, just like, oh yeah. I just. And you'll just be like, okay. But you'll actually, you won't learn anything from it. You'll just be watching it just to pass the time, but you'll actually learn. And, that, and, someone. and that's the question why are we doing that why are we choosing that one instead of that one you know why do we choose the cheese instead of the vegan cheese why do you know what I mean why do we choose the cookie it's the same thing and it's about our intentions our intention is either to create a better world or to create harmony or to create peace you know what mm. something that's pure and just and noble um, as opposed to mm. creating like we do create heaven or hell on this planet first inside you can see it in cities when no one looks in your eyes and there's mm. no smiling going on and yeah, like it's bad isn't it? it's all fear based you know it's never like because when we start to look at ourselves it's the fear of not being the greatest with most not, cities not isn't being it? A fucking yeah you know everyone's looking at each other like I wonder how well you're doing Am I doing uh, better than you? Yeah. And they're all looking at the, each other the same, like, uh, you know, this is, this is, I might not be as good as you, or I am better than you. Mm. It's like all fake. Yeah, it's all about hierarchy. Mm. That's why I think people, like, out in the countryside are a lot more happy because they've only got themselves to appreciate and impress. Do you know? For sure, for sure. And they're surrounded by this beautiful, you know, birds tweeting in the morning, stuff mm, like that. It's, a, it's nicer to wake up to than cars beeping. <laughs> yeah. Mm, like, I don't know, just loads of. You walk out on the street and there's a thousand people on their phones, just like, shit, I'm not gonna make it in the work done. It's just like, oh fuck, I'm not gonna make it in the work done now. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. you can't, you don't have a chance to really so breathe, do you? You're straight out there and you're like, oof, I'm in the, I'm yeah, in the cycle that's now. That's it. That's it. The space, yeah, because in the space it's like a 
it's like this plant pot. <laughs> it's <coughs> about the space within the plant pot that matters. Hmm. But we think that it's about the pot. <coughs> we, buy, we're the, we buy the pot. We don't buy the space that's in the pot. You know? Yeah. So we're focusing on buying the fucking pot because we think it's useful. And yeah. yeah, the pot is fucking useful. But it's about the space within the pot that's actually u- the useful bit. You know? Mm. So, so back to the choicing. Like, why is it that we ch- like some of us we either choose to meditate or choose to go out into nature and just lie down and be with the birds tweeting or choose to be in the city and go shopping and <coughs> always constantly be busy as opposed to be busy trying to find yourself or trying to find that space. Like, mm. So why is that, you know? And that comes down to um, how we feel about ourselves. Mm. If I feel shit about myself, then I'm gonna treat myself like shit. I'm gonna put myself in environments that's, that are constantly no end of grief. You know, they're just they're causing me crap. You know, and I'm just gonna keep going around in that cycle. And and what happened with me is it takes someone to go down. They have to go really down, really to the like the attitude to the world is like fucking. I want to kill myself. You know, it's mm. that when they get those feelings, when you go to the lowest of lows, those are the places that spawn this pure intention, like, mm. like life sends you a gift in those places. Like you either kill yourself or life's like, mm. here's a sign kind of thing. Mm. And if you listen to the sign, <coughs> then you don't kill yourself, you know what I mean? But if, if you hear the sign and it's like saying, just go out into a nature for a change. Do something outside of your way of doing things, mm. you know? Because it's basically breaking from my selfish needs and realizing that my limited self or my idea of who I am is not actually who I am because it's limited. <coughs> like um, Rock, Philly Rockus she said, we are all one, you know? We are all one. What, what does that mean? Like when I, when I help you, mm. say so this is your self and this is my self. Mm. We both have a self. Yeah. yeah, this thing, okay, this vessel, right? Mm. But the thing is that when myself <laughs> helps yourself, yeah. yeah, obviously you'd expect yourself to feel the benefit. Yeah, unless you are reluctant. Unless it's cons- like constructive criticism, then you don't feel the beneficial one, do you? Yeah. Uh, or do you? I know. It depends how. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So if I'm if I'm giving my love to someone else, yeah. If it's, I'm d- it's different though because depending on who you are, for that example, mm. if you help me in the way that you give me like compliments or something, that's helping myself feel better. That's making yourself feel better. That's the answer. It's realizing that there's me, myself and yourself. When I help yourself. Clearly, you think that yourself feels better. Like that's just common sense, mm. yeah. But also, in that equation, myself also feels better. Almost as if myself and yourself are the same thing. Mm. And the, I think the people that uh, don't get it, like, because you can get some people say you just called me like I don't know. You just took the mick out of me for something. That make me feel worse. But some people get the enjoyment out of that. So it's a one-sided thing. And and then they are out. Of, they're not really part What are of. you thriving on? Are you thriving on togetherness? You know, mm. And that's the point. Why you choose the red, red pill or the blue pill You know, mm. in the matrix. Are you thriving on trying to find truth? Even if <coughs> it's a harder road? Even if you don't know where that road might take you? Or are you thriving on keeping things the same? Doing things like everyone else? Being selfish because it's all about... Mm. Or we're on our own, we've got to survive as opposed to, nah, we are part of this machine, this thing that's operating, and we actually have a sway, you know? I think what a lot of people struggle with is they, like with the, the helping, right? Some people help themselves. Can I point that in for that? Yeah. Some people help themselves not thinking. It's just thinking that, um, so say, so say you help me, and you, that made me feel good, and you feel good. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people don't know that helping 
someone else will make them feel good. So, that, which is why we don't, you know, sometimes we don't get it. Mm. Do you know what I mean, people making themselves feel good, doing their like makeup and shit, like yeah, 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 yeah. It's making them yeah. caring about them because they don't know that maybe like yeah. it's like giving to a homeless man. You, you keep say say I just got given a fiver, yeah. keep up for myself, I feel good. But then I could go and give it to him, that make him feel good, and, you both feel good. and I'd feel good. So it's but a lot of people action. don't do that. Yeah. Because um, because we yeah I'd like be five I yeah I'd be five pound less but is that really the matter of the yeah, situation yeah it's not is it right so I can go and sp- I can go and spend that on like a burger yeah. and feel worse and then well you feel better in the moment but yeah then but then it will fade but you yeah. you can remember you can see him like in a week and he'll be like thanks for that five yeah yeah like, no, the whole idea of karma right yeah. If you're into that kind of stuff, like what I give, I get in return. Mm. There's a difference of like giving it to someone willingly rather than them begging for it. Yeah, you know, well, it's it's difficult. You'd feel say, say if there was a there's a homeless man, for example, being really at you, making you feel uncomfortable. That make him feel good in the end, but not you. Mm. It has to be like a do you know what I mean? Say you're not, you're not just working for yourself. Yeah. Say 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 I was homeless and you in for the situation you had the money. <coughs> I came up to you, grabbing your arm like, please help me out, please. You feel uncomfortable, but like, shit. Okay, I guess I'll help you out. You give me that fiver, you're walking away, not feeling great. Mm. Will you? You'll be like, yeah. Fuck. I don't feel like he really, you know. Mm. Yeah. But then, if he was, if he was looking, so it's got to be your own choice. If if you went and sat down with someone, for example, and they were just told you about themselves and the shit, and they were like, gave you a story, not just like beg it, like grasping at you for it. Yeah, and once again, that's getting out of your mind. The mm. only reason that you'd actually sit down with that person is because you're getting out all of your ideas of homeless people. You mm. know, all your ideas of how oh they've got themselves there. So it's not even just like that's. I'm just using that as an example. I thought like everything. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's a good example because yeah. like all of the all of the ideas that we have around homeless people, how many people just walk past and you know when they see a homeless per- <laughs> person don't want to look at them, you know, because if they look at them then they'll feel bad, <coughs> feel bad because they know that they're doing a selfish thing, and that we should be taking care of each other. <coughs> so we just try and avoid any thoughts to do with that. We just keep doing what we normally did, and then when we come down the corner, ah, oh, it's fine. Mm. But like, it's about awareness, breaking free of all those thoughts that you have, and especially in the moment, you know, because life presents itself with different situations. So when that when that situation presents itself to you, you can easily just fall back into an old thought pattern mm. and just continue on and spit at the guy if you fucking really hate endless people. You know what I mean? But mm. so that's about it's, it's finding the balance of keep making two. Getting like two, well, getting two things with one sort of. Because it say you, just for that you could spit on the guy that might make you feel better about yourself, but not him. Because you're thriving on negativity. Yeah. You're thriving on a disharmonic state. It's all about getting, finding the yeah the right harmony of mm. making everything like amazing at the certain point. And knowing in time. that it can be put, that it can be done. So many people a lot of people don't think it can be yeah. done, can they? That's, That's their the problem. The insecurity. Mm. We feel like, oh, I'm just. There's, there's so many people in the world that things will never change. Mm. Yeah. So I just carry it down away from you. It'll be alright. I'll be dead in a few years. Hey. The, fo- the camera ran out of battery just as I was saying that attitude, like. Oh, I'm gonna die, so it doesn't matter. And it's all about the attitude that you have. Remember that. Just watching that video back, this video that you're watching now. Whew. I can be so self critical sometimes. But that combo was a lovely combo. So thank you, Alex. And if you enjoyed the combo, you know what to do. Like. Like, 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 I'm all about appreciation. Just like that thing right there. 
love if they had the heart thing you just love that thing you know press that like button because i want to start feeling the love from you guys as opposed to feeling it from me so remember we are gonna die and it could be tomorrow it could be in a year from now it could be in 20 hundred years i don't know but how what kind of attitude how do you want to live your life that's the question to ask yourself you want to find truth you want to find look for how you wish to do things not just going along with everyone else's ideas give yourself space and find out how you want to live your life so I'm loving living life you never know I could pass out and die right now so that's why I'm loving living life once again I'll catch you on the flip side Woo.